2022 was a remarkably productive year, and remarkably, uh, an awful lot of what passed the Congress was done in bipartisan fashion. Uh, the achievements are things that will help the people of Southwestern Connecticut uh, in the future and today. Things like putting a cap of uh, $35 on the price of insulin, negotiating down the price of the most used drugs, uh, a huge bipartisan win for Americans' right to marry who they want, a huge investment uh, in addressing the challenges of climate change, and of course, a bipartisan bill that really stood up for our veterans who are suffering as a result of their services. So it was an incredibly productive year, but don't take it from me, take, take it from some of the folks right here in Southwestern Connecticut. Hello, my name is Larry Robinson, and I would like to um, speak today on the PAC Act and the benefits that it has in the veteran community. There are so many veterans that were suffering from so many illnesses that was not covered on the past VA benefits. But now, due to the PAC Act that uh, President Joe Biden signed into act, it now covers so many more, and it brings such relief and help to struggling families who were being denied benefits and services because it was not quote unquote listed in the category. But the category has expanded. Now it goes from brain cancer to um, head cancer of any type, kidney cancer, and lymphomas, melanomas, neck cancers, pancreatic cancers, reproductive cancers. And these are all the things now that the veterans now were suffering with for all these years were being denied. But we are grateful now that the President Biden and Mr. Hines for diligently searching and not giving up, but being relentless in their effort to ensure that the veterans would be covered under the PAC Act. And we appreciate you and thank you very much. Thank you so much, Congressman Himes, for voting for the Respect for Marriage Act this year and helping to pass that in a bipartisan effort into law in our country to protect the marriage rights of same-sex couples and LGBTQ people. It means so much to us, especially in the same year that we saw the Supreme Court roll back civil rights for people in our country and in our community. We truly appreciate all of your efforts to advance LGBTQ rights. Yeah, we're so grateful uh, for seeing all the advancements uh, for our LGBTQ community over the past few years. But as we know, there's still so much more to do uh, to help protect the LGBTQ community. Yes, but this was a great step in the right direction and we'll be sleeping better this holiday season. Thank you, Congressman Hines. My name is Paul Vosper and I'm the Chief Strategy Officer for Juice Bar EV Chargers. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Congressman Himes for his work this year in passing legislation that will have a material impact on Connecticut's economy, will bring back manufacturing jobs to the state, help rebuild our infrastructure, address our climate change needs, and secure our energy future. Three pieces of legislation in particular are set to address these needs, the Inflation Reduction Act, the Jobs Act, and the Infrastructure Bill. For Connecticut, this means over $52 billion worth of funding from the federal government over the next five years. For a state that has created modern manufacturing, this means bringing back well-paid manufacturing jobs to the state. Our company is one of the few EV charging companies in the nation that manufactures these EV chargers in the US, and we do it here in Connecticut. These legislative achievements will enhance our manufacturing base and help meet the in income inequality in the state. I am Catherine McCabe, Dean of the Welch College of Business and Technology at Sacred Heart University in Fairfield, Connecticut. Integrating business and technology is at the heart of our educational programs. The Chips and Science Act is an essential investment in the research and development of technologies as we prepare our students for success in industry. As a recipient of a federal grant for STEM, the Welch College is able to offer students from low income, diverse backgrounds, the opportunity to study engineering so that our country's brightest minds are at work. Additional funding through the CHIPS and Science Act will give us the ability to enhance our outreach to include adult learners, as well as middle and high school students. These new programs will focus on creating and delivering essential skills in computer science, cybersecurity, and engineering with an eye toward developing the Connecticut workforce. 
Thank you for sharing your stories. And I hope those stories inspire you as they inspire me to continuing uh, with this incredible privilege of serving the people of Southwestern Connecticut. We are here to help. If we can help on any of these issues, I hope you'll reach out to my office. And in the meantime, have a really wonderful 2023.